guys, I'm Shimmer, and welcome to the newest installment of Noobing and Nern, a beginner's guide to Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, in this guide, we're going to cover add-ons, what they are, how to install them, minion updating add-ons, and I'll give you some examples of some helpful add-ons for new players. There will be time links in the About section, so if you want to skip over some parts, you can, but let's get to it. First off, what exactly is an add-on? An add-on is a piece of software that has been written to enhance your gameplay experience. They are basically additions to the base game that can change your UI, help you with guild stores, allow you to track fish, or even track how many times you've died. There are numerous different types of add-ons that are available to use. Unfortunately, add-ons are only available to players that play on PC and console players. You will not have access to these, so I do apologize to you guys. You can find and search available add-ons by going to esoui.com and browsing the different categories. When you arrive at esoui.com, you're going to be greeted with this page. Uh, and the first you'll see a search bar and that's where you can search for a particular um, a particular add-on so if someone's recommended one to you you can type it in here and search for it you're gonna see some categories here uh, standalone add-ons um, you're gonna see like homestead ones there are raid mods role play add-ons PvP add-ons mail all kinds of different add-ons for you to browse through and kind of see which one you think you'd want more on the right hand side you're going to see a what's hot category and this will show you uh, what people are downloading the most um, so take a look at the website browse the different categories and see if there's one that you think you want now there are two ways you can download install and start using your add-ons I'm going to talk about both but the first thing you're going to need to do is verify whether or not you currently have an add-ons folder in your Elder Scrolls online folder so to find this out we're going to go to uh, the C drive then click on your users folder then pick your name and then go to documents Elder Scrolls online live and right here you should have an add-ons folder if you do not simply right click go to new folder and then create one this is where we're going to stick all the add-ons we download uh, we're going to put them right into this folder the first method of downloading and installing add-ons is by installing it directly into your add-ons folder and downloading it from the website so what we're going to do is go to esoui.com and find an add-on that we want to download uh, once you find one you're going to see a download button on the right hand side of the screen go ahead and click that once the download is complete you'll go ahead and click on it to open and you will need WinZip or WinRAR in order to unzip the folder both are free and available with a trial so once it's unzipped you're going to highlight over the folder and then click extract to and now we're going to uh, direct it to that add-ons folder that we made so the path again was C users then pick your name now we're going to find documents Elder Scrolls Online, Live, and then highlight the add-ons folder and click OK. Now it's going to dump all those add-on files right into the add-ons folder. The next step would be to go uh, log into game and go to your character select screen. There will now be an add-ons button in the lower left hand corner of the screen and if you click on it you're going to see your add-on listed there. If any of the add-ons that you download say out of date, you can always choose load out of date add-ons. Use caution when doing this though because it can cause LUA errors which cause screens to pop up constantly in game letting you know that you have an add-on um, installed that's out of date. Every time there is a new patch, add-on creators have to change the code of the add-on and you will have to download an updated version of that file every time there's a patch to avoid these errors. So using that process we just did for this one add-on, we're going to have to do that every time there's a patch. So if you have a bunch of different add-ons that you're maintaining, every time there's a patch you're going to have to go to the site, find the add-on, download the updated version and install it to your folders. Um, when selecting which add-ons to install, make sure they are regularly updated by the author. Some authors or some add-ons 
may have been created years ago and are no longer supported or updated by the author. So just make sure you're choosing ones that are maintained and um, have updates regularly. Now, if all of this seems like way too much work for you and you don't want to have to go through the mess of finding the add-ons every time there's a patch, downloading, installing, and putting it in that folder, there is a more simple and more streamlined way to download and install add-ons, and that's by using Minion. Minion is a third-party software that allows you to browse, install, and update any add-ons for ESO without having to navigate all those files and find those add-ons all over again. It always shows you which add-ons you have installed and which have updates available. And with one click, you can update your add-on without having to do all that extra work. To download Minion, you will have to go to minion.mmoui.com. When you arrive here, click download and then choose your operating system. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and click it to run the, ex the executable. The first thing that will happen will be a security warning asking you if you're sure you want to install it. Click yes. Next, it will start the setup wizard. The first thing it's going to ask is where you'd like to install it to. I recommend allowing it to install to the dire default directory. The next question will ask um, where you want to put shortcuts. This is a user preference, so go ahead and choose some places that you'd like some shortcuts, and then when you get to the last step, click install. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and finish and launch Minion. The first thing you'll have to do is agree to the end user license agreement, and then it's gonna scan for games. Uh, it'll show you the games that you have installed on your computer that it has add-ons for, and click continue. Then it's going to scan all the drives for any other games you may have. So give it a moment to uh, complete the scan. And then it'll tell you whether or not you have add-ons installed. It'll ask if you want them backed up before Min Minion installs. I recommend yes backing them up just in case something happens. All right, and now once all that is done, it'll show you all the add-ons that you have installed currently for your game. Now, if you see here, I have two that are um, out of date. Uh, with one simple click of a button, you can update those add-ons, and you won't even have to go to the website and find them and install them, blah, blah, blah. You do it with one click, and it's super simple. It's also super easy to find new add-ons using Minion. All you have to do is click on Find More at the top, and use the drop down boxes to narrow down to any categories of add-on that you're looking for. Uh, you can also use the search box here in order to find specific ones, but once you find one that you do want to download, go ahead and click the install button and bam, you're done. Super simple, right? Uh, it also just makes it so much easier. Anytime there's a patch and the author has um, written a new updated version, all you have to do is click the update button and you're done. Um, so I, I really love using Minion and I recommend using it for anybody. Now, as I said before, there are all kinds of different add-ons that may benefit you in your gameplay. But some good all-around new player add-ons that I recommend that you start off with will be, um, the first one is Minimap, and that's by Firekin. Um, this will put a, uh, you can either make it square or circle, and you can move it around your screen, but this will give you a mini-map that'll show up on your screen to kind of give you an idea where you're at without having to open your map every five seconds. Um, another really good one that is very important is Awesome Guild Store. This will make searching on the guild stores 100 times easier. I don't know why they made it so difficult to search the guild stores in game, but this add-on has will seriously change your life. Um, this, this adds a whole bunch of different filters and search parameters, and you can even type in the name of something you're looking for. Um, but that is one I definitely recommend for a new player. Um, another really good one for a new player is the Sky Shard add-on. Um, this will show you on your map every Sky Shard that you don't have. Now you can set it to show you ones that you do already have, but I don't recommend that. Um, just leave it at default and it'll show you Sky Shards in each zone so you can go and get them and know where they're at. 
And that's it guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and sub if you enjoyed. I will be adding more videos into my newbie, Noobing and Nerd Beginner's Guide series, but if you guys have any suggestions as a new player, what's stumping you, uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll see about making a video guide for it. Uh, but you guys have a great day and I'll see you in Tamriel.